Andreas here from the coin cabinet. Welcome to this unboxing. I bought a collection yesterday and I have not seen the coins myself. Um, that's the benefit of buying and selling when uh, the coins are slabbed because you don't need to actually view the coins. So I'm watching these coins for the first time with you guys and I'm just excited as you are basically. So let's start this uh, with a box number one. And here we have a very modest um, 500 kroner piece from Iceland, which is slab PCGS MS67. It's not a fantastic coin by any means, uh, but it is uh, high grade and uh, it's obviously a discussion of price, but it won't be much more than the gold price for that. Cuba 5 PSOS 1915. Nice coin. And then we have a 1916 10 PSO. MS63. Half Kruger and 1995 MS67. Very nice. Here's the 2003 half Kruger and half ounce of gold. Struck to a proof finish. And look at that. Oh, brilliance. And the contrast between the proof fields, which plays around in light, beauty to see. Contrast with the portrait and devices, both obverse and reverse. And if you, yeah, it's like a mirror. Nice. Nice. Usually people collect the full Krugerrands, um, but collectors tend to forget that the half Krugerrands are actually um, have much lower mintage in some cases, so they are in that sense more collectible and you can pick them up for a fraction over the spot price, gold price sometimes, if they are slabbed like this one in PR69 Deep Cameo. Um, you could probably still pick one up for, let's say, uh, £100 over the gold price or something like that. For some dates, not all dates. Here's another one, 2000. And here is a full Krugerrand, 2017. And this one has the 50 year mint mark. The first year the Krugerrand was struck was 1967. So they made a uh, anniversary, 50 year anniversary piece in 2017. It was struck with a limited uh, mintage of 100,000 pieces. So that one has a little bit more value. Here is the 1820 half sovereign in PCGS Mint State 63. What a brilliant coin. Look at that. Oh, that's quite nice. From 1820 as well. That's almost 200 years ago. Like it was made yesterday. George III. With Pistrucci's famous bust. Like a Roman emperor. And the much coveted 1817 full sovereign piece. Uh, in VF35 and I bought this coin not thinking much of VF35 it's not a high grade of course but looking at this coin right now I am quite pleased with it actually because it has some luster and yeah it's quite nice I'm happy with that a half sovereign 1826 AU58 looks like it might be an impaired proof even might have to look that one a bit closer up later on. And the first date, 1838 Full Sovereign, another popular piece. Yeah, not too bad. 1842 Full Sovereign, AU53. Yeah, nice piece. AU53 isn't of course, a brilliant grade, but sometimes you can have a bit of luster coming through. You can have nice details in the hair. Um, I think this is a nice coin. AU53 in this sense is 
it's one of those grades. It can be nice, it can be less nice. But in that case, and in this case as well, they look okay. But the other one was a bit better. Maybe. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, very casual unpacking of the first box, which showcases a little bit of what we do here at the coin cabinet. Um, we deal in sovereigns and British coins, but also world coins, and we do focus a lot on gold. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below, uh, or hop on our website, give us a call, and uh, we look forward to hear from you about anything you want about coins. Thanks for watching. Uh, look at our other videos and go to thecoincabinet.co.uk and uh, see you soon.